Go for it. Hi there, and welcome to the Barcast. Uh, we're entirely a user-submitted podcast where you give us questions, and we will ask our guest. We have a very special guest today. I am a very special guest every day. <laughs> Would you like to tell our viewers who you are and what you do? <laughs> uh, I'm Trevor Deval. I'm a voice actor. I'm talking to them, right? Yes. The yes. great unknown them. The uh, yes, the internet. Hello, internet. Uh, I'm a voice actor on a great many things, but specifically My Little Pony. That's the that's the that's the angle this time. Uh, I play Iron Will, and I play Fancy Pants, and I play Woody Toity, and I play Thunderlane, and I play a whole bunch of other people, most of whom I've already forgotten. So that's who I am. Who are you is the real question. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> well, um, we usually start with some basic questions that everyone, of course, asks. Let's skip right, oh, right, yes. right to the advanced ones. Oh, right to the advanced. All right. Yes, um, uh-huh. Do you like bagels? Do I? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can do better than that. Come on, come on. Well, one of the questions we have from the audience is: What is the optimum number of ears for a face? The optimum number, number of, of ears, ears for a face. I can see ears for a head, but ears for a face implies that it's actually on the face, which is an interesting look. Uh, well, obviously, evolutionarily speaking, it's two. But evolution is so boring, don't you think? I agree. Can I do this? Am I in frame? Oh, you're fine. Am I, am I, yeah, am I in frame? Am I in frame? my edges? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that makes it easy. Sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, um, the way that we run our podcast is we source questions not from ourselves, but from right. pe- random people on the internet. Right. So random people about, on the internet. It goes about as badly as you'd expect. Okay. All right. Good. I mean, we can always bump it up another notch. Not no, we're not bumping it up. We can go to the deep end. No. <laughs> I did actually want to ask, um, you've acted in a lot of shows where you do multiple voices that are very different from each other, mm. not just in My Little Pony, mm. but in like Star Wars, where you're doing everything from Jar Jar Binks to Palpatine, mm-hmm. which are about as poor opposite as you can That's get. That's true. Are you doing those all in one sitting, or are you doing different uh, days for different voices? How does uh, go? Well, it depends on how the director wants to handle it, but um, a lot of the time I do bounce back and forth between the voices, because... Uh, because I can, and they're all my children, you see. Uh, yeah, no, I, I can bounce back and forth. Um, I know Andrea Libman as well. She bounces back and forth between her two main characters on, on MLP. Uh, but it depends. It depends on the situation. I have one director for Lego Star Wars who, uh, just the way we record, he likes to make sure that, okay, well, we're going to go. We're going to get all of the Emperor's lines. We're going to go back and get all of these lines. But it doesn't have to be that way at all. It, it all depends on um, the mood of the room at the moment. So, yeah. Is it difficult to go from, like, again, the Jar Jar, which is very... Yeah. Yeah, to something like Palpatine, which is... Yeah, it's very down here. Uh, no, not at all. I mean, Jar Jar, again, Lego versions, right? Mm-hmm. It's because that's what I do, is the Lego versions. Um, everything's a send-up, right? So a send-up of Jar Jar. You know, you dismiss that people are going to die, right? And then you can go right to that, to being, yes. Lord Vader, and you can go just you know anywhere in between. So it's 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 a fun little game. I like to play. It's going back and forth between the voices. As you can see, I kind of do it in normal life anyway. So it's uh, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. I can see that probably applies to My Little Pony too. Yes. Fancy pants and iron. Yes, of course. Now they've never actually had scenes together. That would be. That would be the dream, wouldn't it? Fancy pants and iron will together again, like a crazy sitcom. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Yeah, that'd be good. But uh, yeah, uh, no, it's it's fairly simple to do to to, to go back and forth uh, between the characters. Um, but if I haven't played a character in a number of years and they bring me back, like they do with My Little Pony, you know, hey, you played Thunderlane, and my response is, who? who? <laughs> Fans always say, oh, Thunderlane, and I'm like, uh huh, I, I don't remember. Okay, uh, so then they play a reference for us. It was a little clip of a voice that we did in the show, and they say, you sounded like this six years ago. Oh, okay. And then we could do that, so, yeah. yeah wonderful. Uh, one of the other questions that we have from the internet is, if you were arrested, what would your family and friends naturally assume that you've done? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Once on the internet, always on the internet, so I have to be careful what I say. If I was arrested, what would my family and friends naturally assume I'd Done. <laughs> like 
I have to censor the first five responses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Probably arrested by the fashion police for not having my belt match my shoes. <laughs> probably the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So serious business. Serious, of course. Yeah. Of course. Well, they're being serious. Are there any projects you're working on that you're really excited about that you can tell us about? Oh, well, see, there's the caveat, right, is yeah, what that I can, can tell you me. about. Uh, well, something just got announced a couple days before the convention, which is Lego Black Panther, and I'm Claw on Lego Black Panther. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. So that was kind of cool. Uh, funny story. <laughs> uh, when I started playing Claw, it was right before the trailer came out, and so... You know, every time for the movie, for the movie, and uh, so I'd be playing Claw, and I, you know, sometimes he has to say Wakanda, right? I'm the only guy who's ever gotten out of Wakanda alive, right? And so I would do that thing, and then I uh, did a few a uh, few recordings of that, and then we saw the trailer, and Andy Serkis says, "I'm the only guy who's ever gotten out of Wakanda alive," and I went, "Oh, you didn't, you didn't just mispronounce that, did you?" So I get back to session, and I went, "We're not." We don't have to go back and... I'm like, yes, we have to go back and change up. Like, but he said it wrong! He said it wrong! So I had to go back and say, what came that? Every single time. And then, when the movie came out, he changed it again. So it's Wakanda. And I leapt up in my seat in the theater going, yes! Screw you, Andy Serkis! I was right! So what yeah. I'm hearing here is that if you were arrested, it'd probably be for fighting Andy Serkis. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a long way... To, to get to that answer, but yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So uh, yeah, so that's a project that I that, that I'm excited about, um, uh, and there's there's a whole bunch more um, coming out. F is for Family is the show I do for Netflix is uh, uh, preparing to release its season three in a few months, so I'm excited about that one. Um, yeah. Yes. Yes, there are many. Wonderful. Um, My Little Pony is a prelay show, which for those who aren't aware, that means that the audio is usually recorded first and then animated over after, which means that he's you guys, done this before. <laughs> um, you guys usually end up in a vocal booth together, and you're all able to interact and right. play off each other. Um, do you have any memorable experiences of being in the booth with all the other actors, actresses? No, they're very boring people. Oh, how boring! Uh, they? Yeah, they have no interesting uh, aspects to their personalities whatsoever. So. <gasps> It's kind of a snooze fest. So you're oh. left at the party, then? Oh, no, no. I'm the most boring of, of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, memorable experiences. My God! There's there's so many. Uh, I don't get a chance to fly up and record a lot with the Vancouver cast anymore because I live in L.A. now. Uh, but when I do, it's great because I get to go back home and play with my old family up, up uh, north, which is great. Um yeah, memorable experiences. The last memorable experience I had for My Little Pony actually has nothing to do with My Little Pony. It was, I was doing a scene with Peter New, uh, and <clears throat> I got a text from my L.A. agent saying, you need to call me right now. And I went, that's probably bad. Yeah. Uh, so as soon as there was a break, I, I rushed out, and in the, in the studio where we record, there's a, a, a door that separates the recording booth from everywhere else. And there's a big window there. So I'm, I'm talking to my agent. I'm looking at Peter through the glass of the window. And uh, she says, uh, what are you doing right now? And I said, well, I'm literally in the middle of recording My Little Pony. Like, well, I have to go in 10 seconds because my line's coming up. And Peter's waving me in. So I'm like, okay, all right. Uh, uh, but I got to go. So what? And she says, well, uh, they just called your rocket raccoon. And I went, who? <laughs> so that was my last memorable experience. Oh, that's really yeah. wonderful. That's a wonderful way to find out. Yeah, that's yeah, it was. Well, yeah, I came in to the to the room and I said to Peter, I said, I, I think I'm Rocket Raccoon, they just said. And he went, who? I said, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody says this is a big deal, but I don't know who it is. And then a week later, I saw the movie trailer and went, oh, 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 that's Bradley Cooper playing him in the movie. Uh-oh, I better not screw this up. Yeah, so... <laughs> But otherwise, yeah, lots of memorable experiences. They're great. They're, they're super fun. Lots of laughs. la di da di da And I think last but not least, are you having a good time at the con? Any special things that you're looking forward to that you haven't done yet? Yeah, uh, it'll be a great time. I don't know. I never know how to answer that. Special things I'm looking forward to? Well, it's Sunday, so I'm looking forward to going home. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you have a pleasant flight home. And Thank you. I'll tell the pilot. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yes, yes. 
Last but not least, on a scale of yes to yes, how much do you regret sitting down with us today? On a scale of yes to yes? Yes. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> Leading the witness. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. Thank you. This is the why. Well, this is the finest internet show I've been on all day. We need to put that soundbite, soundbite, soundbite. Once on the internet, once on the internet. Thank you, sir, for sitting down. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest. Thank you. You too.